Today I fucked up by cooking with mustard and accidentally gassing my husband and I out of the house. The past 24-ish hours have been rough. Husband and I had to put our 14-year-old dog down yesterday after he developed kidney failure. So it's been a lot of crying and lack of energy to do much of anything between the two of us. Did you know that grief has physical side effects too? I didn't, until I woke up feeling like all of my limbs were sore, my throat hurt, and the skin around my eyes were puffy and raw from crying. I looked as bad as I felt. So, a few hours ago I decide well, being hungry isn't going to do much for either of us, and decide to make some lunch for Hobbs and I. We just got some chicken sausages from our favorite grocery store, and we both love spicy food. So I pop some sweet potato fries into the air fryer, and get the sausages onto the cast iron skillet for flavor tilde. And I think, well, I got a cabinet full of spices. Might as well make this good. And I throw on the hot sauce, chili flakes, garlic powder, salt, and accidentally dump too much of the ground mustard on the sausages. I don't think any of it. I just keep cooking, stirring the spices mixing with the olive oil and I start to notice I'm coughing a bit. I figure it's just from the little bit of smoke, and open my window. But, it still hurts to breathe in. Sausages keep cooking, and I can't breathe. Meanwhile, Hubs is on the phone with his best friend giving him advice on his car, and through my coughing fit that I figure at first is just from exhaustion, becomes something to be genuinely concerned about. I also have asthma, so coughing randomly happens sometimes for me and I tend to not think twice about it. He steps into the kitchen and starts coughing hard. I have my sweater up over my face with one hand, with another I'm opening all of the windows in the living room and kitchen. Ceiling fan is on, doors are open. I put my cat in the bedroom with the window open, we have screens on the windows, where she can be away from the fumes. I have no idea why at this point, but I figure it's the garlic powder. So we put the pan out on the grill to finish airing out the house. When it's safe to go back in, I realize what I did. I looked at my husband, who's holding a floor fan and blowing air around the kitchen, and I went holy shit, I just must have gassed us. It took a little bit, but we were able to clear the house and get some decent air quality back. My lungs still feel a little tender, but I'm not coughing like a 50 year old smoker anymore. The sausages were good. TL, doctor, dog died. Tried to cheer husband and myself up with a good, spicy lunch, and accidentally gassed us out of the home with mustard fumes. If it makes you feel any better, my mom did a similar thing when she was younger. Her and my father had recently gotten married at the time, and she noticed that basically no matter what she cooked for him, as soon as she'd set the plate down, he'd pop a ton of Tabasco sauce over everything before chowing down. Feeling a little offended by this, she decided instead to change up her cooking style to match her new husband's taste buds and doused a hot frying pan of breakfast sausages with Tabasco tear gassing herself out of the kitchen. She rushes to the living room, tears streaming down her face, and my dad couldn't do much but lead her to the bathroom to rinse her eyes and laugh. Told her that back in his early military days, he and the boys would take the tiny bottles of hot sauce that came with their PPEs and empty them over the bonfire vents above other soldiers' tents in the middle of the night as a prank, forcing everybody inside out coughing and freezing in their underwear in the dark. I don't even put chili flakes in pots of pasta now, nothing spicy touches anything hot in my kitchen, I add the heat after the fact, embarrassed smiley face. I'm sorry about your dog. Just throwing this out there in case this is the first time you've lost a long-term pet, but it will take a very long time for you to get over that loss and it's perfectly okay. The last dog I lost we had for 7 years and it took my wife and I almost 2 years to get over him. It sucks for sure but now we joke about him sending us psychic messages from beyond the grave whenever we see something that might have interested him. We used to joke that he was sending us psychic messages to not forget to buy an extra cheeseburger for him from the local burger shop for instance 
and that sort of thing, and can speak of our fond memories of him. I made an album of pictures of him in Google Photos that we can look at if we want to see him again, and my wife said that helped her. Anyway, sorry for your loss but do you know that it will get better, and don't forget to love your puppy even after he's gone. You're sweet for saying this, thank you he was already a senior when we rescued him, but I couldn't leave him in the shelter. So I let him spend his last couple of years in my home with a full belly and warm blankets to sleep on. I knew what I was getting into adopting a senior, but it was still hard. And thank you for the Google album idea. I'll put one together so that my husband husband and nieces can look at it. He was such a good dog. I had my oh fuck this is it moment yesterday at the vet, I don't want to experience that feeling again. Just want to say I'm so sorry about your pup, we had to have ours put down a while back, he was 15, I'd had him for 14 years and through some very difficult times, both for myself and for him, and it still hurts. It's gonna be tough going back to our favorite vacation cabin at the beach without him for the first time, it was one of his favorite places, along with the vets, believe it or not. Again, very sorry for your loss. Or thank you I keep seeing him in the corner of my eye, and I'll think he's there but he's not. I once decided to experiment and see how pasta cooked in water that I had put Tabasco sauce in instead of salt would taste. It was delicious but I have never done that again because filling the air with Tabasco laced steam was not great. Love Tabasco. We go through a bottle a month lol. But Omg I can't imagine how awful trying to breathe that flavorful air must have been. Wait, stupid question here, is that actually how mustard gas is made? Like just mustard powder? No. And for the sake of everyone's safety, I am not going to say how it is made. It was mostly a pun off of the potent spice that's in mustard that irritated our lungs and sinuses. Chewel mustard gas can, and will, kill you. Today I fucked up hooked up with Papa Smurf before my doctor's appointment. I hooked up with Papa Smurf, but that wasn't the problem. My Tinder friend told me about his Smurf fetish, so I stopped by his place this morning before my appointment to indulge him. He was a dedicated Papa Smurf, red cap, white beard, full blue body paint, except for a sliver of pasty white skin he couldn't get in the middle of his back and very naked. If it hadn't been the doctor's appointment following that, things would have been fine. But alas, I had a little sinus thing I was concerned about, so I made an appointment that I thought would have been quick, but my doctor insisted I do a full annual wellness check because I was way overdue, laziness, pandemic, etc. I should have cancelled in hindsight since the sinus concern almost resolved by itself, but I didn't want to be rude and cancel last minute. As part of the wellness visit, I underwent STI screening, which included throat and butt swabs, yes I love it in my orifices. However, when he pulled the swab from butt, the swab was covered in blue. That's when the visit took a turn for the worse. Doctor, have you put foreign objects in your rectum, but, recently? Me, must be the new dildo I bought, I'm so sorry, will it affect the test? Doctor, concerned face, you can drop in another time for the swab, please make sure you don't do any anal play beforehand. Can you tell me where you bought the toy and the brand? We may have to report it to the vendor and consumer safety. Me, out of lies, sorry, I lied, it wasn't a dildo. I don't own any toys. I was just too embarrassed. Doctor, concerned, now caring face, oh, well thanks for being brave enough to tell the truth. Please don't feel embarrassed. Honesty is the only way I can be an effective advocate for your health. Are you booty bumping? Me, yes, sorry, it was with a smurf just before our appointment. I should have rescheduled. Doctor, Concerned, confused, sorry, I'm not familiar with Smurfs. Do you know what's in them? Me? Smurfs, like the little blue gnomes, the cartoon. Doctor, confused, sorry, I wasn't clear. Were you administering drugs, either off the streets, over the counter, or prescription, in your rectum? Me? What? No, I don't do drugs, never have. Doctor, caring face, okay. Well just to be comprehensive, I'm going to add a tox screen to the urine we are collecting for the STI screening test, is that okay? Me, sure, I'm sorry, I just got body paint in me during sex. See, I have a little bit on my elbow that I couldn't wash off. 
Doctor, caring face, oh no problem, well let's get the samples, and I will send you an email when the results are back. Have a good day, I paraphrased, obviously. Basically, my doctor thinks I'm a druggie who shoots up in the butt. Great. Too long didn't read, I hooked up with Papa Smurf and got accused of being a butt injecting drug addict, and now getting drug tested, by my doctor. Also, till booty bumping doesn't mean anal sex, it means shooting up in the butt. Ha 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 I guess you got fucked till you were blue in the ass. I think your main fuck up was lying. Good lord, what a ride. It's been a while since I was asked invasive sexual or drug questions by a doc. Yay middle age. So I'm sympathizing and chuckling at the same time. Poor Smurf loving you. At least you got some of his big, blue papa, lol. Awesome. Doctor is going to go home and tell their so slash friends that there's this new drug call Smurf and you boof it. Edit pronoun. Funny story but you could have avoided it all by saying I had sex with someone wearing body paint instead of saying that you were getting it on with Papa Smurf. Oh so true. Hindsight is always 2020. In the moment, I was just not articulate enough. Frown. Today I fucked up by realizing I have been serving tea with my brother's bong for 4 years. Our family is Korean but we used to live in China so we have a lot of Chinese teapots. Some of them are really expensive and traditional while some are just pretty abstract and a place filler for our collection. We have teapots ranging from terracotta to glass and porcelain. Anyway. When I was like 11 to 12 and my brother was 18 and he had just gotten accepted to university. He had his stuff packed out and he said anything else in his room I wanted was mine so I snooped around his stuff. I found a cool teapot and I asked him if I could have it and he said it was fine. He probably either thought it was funny or that no one would find out. He said it was an American teapot and so I used this every special occasion he came back from uni, University of California and we lived in Seoul so he would come every two a year max. Literally, for four years, every holiday or family tradition I would whip that out and serve people tea with it. I even DID this at a funeral. I thought it was like a cool modern art banco teacup until a couple of days ago during a Zoom call one of my friends asked me why I had a bong on my bookshelf. I asked my brother and he said there is a hefty amount of weed hidden in the tea drawer and that it has been there since he was 16 so now I'm going through everything I have and double checking if it's drug related. Two long didn't read, I used a bong as a teapot for years. Great save, now that friend from the zoom call doesn't know you blaze it slash s. Wait so where do you live? PC weed and drug paraphernalia are extremely legal in Korea. Do you have a pic lol? Do you have an image of what it looks like? If he cleaned the bong so well that you couldn't notice the foul stench of resin, I'm quite impressed. Otherwise, how did you ignore the smell? Exclamation mark.